hello uh, i am utsav koshal i have secured the rank uh, 14th in uh, civil services examination 2016 my optional was mathematics my background is i am an engineer i am a btech in electrical engineering uh, from iit delhi there are certain points that i would like to make for mathematics as an optional the first thing that should be clear is that mathematics as an optional requires a lot of hard work that means you'll have to go through many many problems as many problems as you, as you can in this test series the ims test series which i did as well as the revi revision classes which uh, venkana sir holds which i again was a part of last year uh, helps a lot and also if you can ask sir for previous years test series questions and solutions try to solve problems on your own don't rush to the solutions because if you solve the problems on your own then only you'll be able to find your way out and then only will there be real learning don't be afraid of uh, putting in the hours don't be afraid of burning the midnight oil so hard work is a given you cannot escape that second point abstract algebra so this is the topic in mathematics which people are usually scared of and people usually avoid but let me make it very clear there is no way around abstract algebra there are a lot of questions every year that come from abstract algebra and if you practice the topic well you will get a hang of it and you will be able to solve them also so that should that will not be a problem if you practice abstract algebra and tackle it head on don't try to skirt your way around abstract algebra third fluid so fluid is one topic which is which i found very difficult and i did not do well so perhaps what my suggestion is try to tackle the 10 pointers the questions that come in the compulsory part and if you want you can leave the 20 markers the more complex ones statics and dynamics people usually uh, in the complacence that they have already done statics and dynamics in the class in the classes 11th and 12th they usually leave statics and dynamics for the end part just before december like november part or october november just before examinations they think they'll go through and they'll do it but statics and dynamics although it's not very tough but it is difficult to do in very short time there are some new concepts which are introduced so i would say that because this is an easy topic you do it first or at least within the first few months of starting because it's an easy topic you'll get a hang of it you'll be able to solve questions but if you try to do it at the last moment because there are so many things you'll not be able to do it so do statics and dynamics don't 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 leave it and lastly partial solutions so many times there are questions which tell you to prove something and then use that proof that statement that theorem that you have proved in the first part of the question to prove something else in the second part now what happens is if what usually happens is if students don't know the first part of the solution that is they don't know how to prove the theorem they they leave the second part of the solution too even if proving the given statement using the theorem already proved is quite easy so if you know the second part of the question like using a theorem which had to be proved to prove something else or to arrive at some result please do it you will get partial marks i did it in this mains and i think i got awarded for that uh, one of the topics in paper 1 is coordinate geometry it's a very nice topic nice in the sense the questions that are asked usually in the exam are very on, are on a very set pattern you can nearly guess what questions will be asked the only thing required is a lot of practice and that too from a book which is called pn chatterjee now this book won't be available very readily you can ask uh, venkana sir to make it available so he'll 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 make it available for you secondly calculus and also real analysis Uh, what i would say is uh, certain parts of calculus for example the part which contains weierstrass theorem and and the the basically the initial part it is quite theoretical and if we go too much into theoretical proofs and uh, theoretical answers it takes too much time and too much energy so i would say that if you want you can skip that part or you can do it very curs in a very cursory way so that if easy questions are asked you don't miss them but if very difficult questions are asked you will you'll you'll skip them and everyone else will also do the same so you won't be losing out then uh, balancing mathematics options with gs now in civil services examination all 
through the seven papers, the marks are summed up. It doesn't matter where you get the marks, whether GS or mathematics. The strategy should be to study anything up till saturation. With saturation, I mean study any topic, math, be it mathematics or be it GS, up till the point where the return on the additional uh, efforts made starts getting very less. So this point of saturation for mathematics comes very late, which you can get an idea of by looking at the highest marks because highest marks are also quite high in mathematics. So I would say that anyone who has mathematics as an optional should concentrate more on mathematics. And if that means that you have to neglect GS a bit, do that. Because the, the marks that you lose in GS, you will more than make up in mathematics. That is your optional. So that is what I did last year. I don't know the marks yet. Let the marks come out, then we'll know for sure. But I think that strategy works. You can concentrate more on mathematics, even if it means that you have to neglect GS for a bit.